and rainy day. <laughs> <laughs> this is old Cam. And this is not a spring chicken today. We're going to be talking about Facebook and privacy. Our lack of. <laughs> or shall we say security? And this is one of those things that you hear hitting the news periodically every once in a while. But one of the reasons we're talking about this is not only were we reminding about it on this huge billboard here in Southern California, talking about Facebook and privacy and it being on the news at night, um, but also we just came back from the SEMA show in Las Vegas, which is the automotive aftermarket, and we were in the press room, and guess what we discovered? We discovered they were tracking us in the press room. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm using the same, because I couldn't get on one, there's X amount of computers in the press room, so we bring our own when we can't get another one. I'm on my computer trying to lock up the Facebook to tell people what's going on, and it tells me, you are, you are in a location that we are not familiar with, and you're, uh, and you're using a device that we have never seen you on before, so we're not going we're going to have to temporarily lock your account until you can identify where you're at. Mm -hmm. That goes of the words, where you're at. Mm -hmm. Why the hell do they have to know that I'm in a press room in Las Vegas? Mm -hmm. See, and one of the other press people was trying to get on too, and they experienced it too, but here was the difference is, you were trying to get on on your laptop that you typically use, Yeah. right? So it should have been keyed to your laptop That's already, right. and should, used to it. Wherever this laptop goes, or wherever my cell phone goes, or wherever her tablet goes, you should be, it should always be, it doesn't make any difference where you're at, but when they ask you specifically, when they say that you are on an unknown device in a location that we have never seen you on from before, we have temporarily locked your computer until you can uh, tell us where you're at. Mm -hmm. Well, I couldn't tell them where I was at. Mm -hmm. I had no business knowing where I'm at, and why are they tracking where I'm at to begin with? Well, you know, they would say it's for security, because I know one of the other press people tried to get onto their Facebook and they experienced the same thing, but they were not work, working off of their computers. Yeah. They were on one of the press room computers. And like for me, I didn't have any trouble, nor did some other people, but I don't know why some people did yeah. and some people didn't. Uh, uh, because it's, um, they're obviously playing around with certain accounts and not all. Okay, we can put it this way. She could get on to the BC's account but we also couldn't get on to the MB account. Uh, you know, my personal account and Monty's account were not accessible. And since I was having a problem getting into mine, there was no reason to try and go through 20 questions. I mean, you got to go through, you got to play 20 questions. With them. Yeah, they were asking you all, remember all those security questions that you answered or yeah. asked? When you set up your Facebook account, and who knows how long ago that would have been. Yeah. And then they asked you, what, to, to identify some oh, of the people? Oh, God, I mean, okay, um, we put it this way. Everybody on my, my per, on my company side thing is all people that I've met, but I couldn't tell you what the hell their names were. They're like cinematographers. They're, they're icons of the industry, and, you got, and they asked to join you. So because they are, you know, um, there are people at the top of their field, you know, okay, you know, you, 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 uh, you, you join them up because that's what it's all about because it's supposed to be. It's all about that, connecting people. Connecting. And that's why I got this, I got this real big clout on my one side because I don't have, there is nobody on that thing except for people that have got like ages, they're old like me, that's the best way to describe it, they've got ages of bit time in the industry, but, um, uh, I should not, I mean, okay, here's the difference. The BC side is a fan page. Mm -hmm. I think you can probably access the fan pages anywhere. But the trick is if they're tracking you, if they want to know, you know you're, in a, you're, in a, you're in a place that we've never seen you on before on the same device, which means they're tracking everybody all the time. Which means they're not only tracking the devices where you are, they're tracking the location where you are from. Mm -hmm. I know like other organizations have gotten in trouble for what people have thought was invasion, but um, like, for example, your cell phones, your laptops, they all have tracking devices, don't they? GPS systems. I mean, I, mean, I know that, um, that Toshiba has a GPS tracking system, and I just don't turn it. It's supposed to be turned off. Obviously, it's not. Well, you know, when you go into the different things, they ask you, do you want to be tracked, or can we use this for, what do they call it? Um, I always mark no. You know, for those um, research purposes to make your system better, right? Yeah. That's what they usually say. I mark it, no, and then they do it, and they did it anyway. And then they have some of those ones where you can check in, 
um, when you get to different locations. And that actually works great when you're at parties, when you want to check in to see who's up. And you know, you know, you can look to see if they've checked in and they're already there, right? That's when it works, and that's when it's great. But these other situations that, you know, it's like on your cell phone, that's why, for example, if you're looking at, um, with, well, with the police, somebody's yeah. missing, they go, they try and track the GPS on the cell phone. That's right. And people, most people don't realize that there is a GPS system. Which is, there. in a way, good for security. But when you're trying to get onto your social networking pages, yeah. come okay. on. You don't, here the trick is, I guess, I don't know, X amount of people that are on Facebook and Twitter don't use their real names and they don't want people to know where they're at. They have yeah. no, they know, they don't get on it. They're, okay, they're like me. I'm on it because I have to be on it because it's, it's, it, it, I mean, basically what it does is it allows me to know what's going on in the industry because I don't go to industry functions like none of them do either. Mm -hmm. So, because you get to a certain point that when you get to an age like I am or the other people that are on my Facebook page, they don't go to these things, but they all know about them and they inform, they basically across the board, mm -hmm. they let everybody know what's going on well, in case you do want to go to something. Well, and then for me, a lot of the invitations are coming through Facebook. Yeah. And that's sometimes how you hear about them because your friends are going to something and it's like they don't call all their friends and say, hey, I'm going here, you know, what they, a lot of times they'll do is we'll forward the invitation on Facebook to some of the other people. Yeah. Are you trying to make yourself taller? Well, I can't. I mean, even though I am back, I'm, I, okay, I can tell people I have a yeah, short leg. Yeah, I'll stand back here. No, you can go forward again because I stand back here because they actually, most of the time I do lean on things. See if I go like this, Good. then I don't know. Yeah, then you're taller. <laughs> that, that's, okay, that's a tip, folks. How you can tell it's a real 3D camera versus uh, back-ended because uh, it's always in focus. You, know, you can go forward, back, you're never going to get out of focus because it's depth of field is all it is. Mm -hmm. But, um, um, well, I get smaller because my legs, I have a cartilage damage, um, massive cartilage damage to my ankles and my knees and my hips. So sometimes, probably like when the weather's really crappy, they sort they of shrink. Start, they shrink a bit. So I, I can lose, well, she'll know it. I can drop an inch, an inch in height almost, mm -hmm. which is really irritating because I can't buy pants that are short like that. Well, and men don't exactly have heels like women have. When I'm wearing shoes that I wore because it was raining outside. I didn't want to get my good shoes wet. But, um, no, but uh, we also know there's something else deadlier than what Facebook is telling you, letting you know they're doing. We were listening to uh, one of the advertising people at Digital Hollywood. They're actually tracking what's going on with your computer now. Mm -hmm. Totally. And without your permission or knowledge, they're doing it. If you basically, uh, because what why we're okay, why viral video is dying, which is maybe we'll get into that too in a little while, because is because uh, the bean counters that run the advertising agency have to have something solid that they can present to the advertisers to ex explain why their money is being spent this way. They can't seem to understand it isn't this piece that you put on, it's how many times somebody else has borrowed all over the internet. If you see it one time, that okay. They say, well, why the hell do you keep doing old cam when only get maybe one view? Well, because old cam's on 56 different languages mm -hmm. and has uh, got an awful amount of links because they pick it up and it spreads. Because it's only the only place where you can get yesterday's news today. That's right. Mm -hmm. And that's how you do it. I mean, you don't think that we have um, 40, okay, we've done 14, probably about 14 plus thousand videos. And a lot of them have been taken, a lot of them, you have been removed because we have problems because what happens if you do X amount of videos on YouTube, they basically will remove your site after a while, which is their, their choice because it beats up bandwidth. But um, if you, what happens is we still have those videos on the air because other people have copied them. And it's a simple matter, that, you know, because YouTube really doesn't care. You want to take the video off and run it on your bandwidth? Uh, they don't care. They give you they give you uh, the ability to click it, mm -hmm. and you can save it. Unless you specifically say you don't want this video shared, anybody can sit there and copy the video and put it on their site. Mm -hmm. So, um, and if you would make it an easy, and even if you don't, they still can copy oh, it and yeah, share it to their site. <laughs> so, and then we're in the middle of our hot chocolate and chocolate marshmallows. Yeah. Um, we're going to see drinking a lot of this because both of us really do not like this cold weather. It's cold and damp. Which I, I like it warm and damp, but not cold and damp. But um, 
think what they said they were gonna they're gonna track. Okay, say you have this is uh, your computer or your tele or your connected TVs. Connected TVs was going to be And and here we are. Here you and uh, and BC and I are the uh, not as big and I are sitting here watching. They're basically going to tell the advertiser there is one person watching and what ISP and then what they're what they're doing, you know, like if they're flipping channels during the thing because they don't like the spot or this and that. And they're gonna know from the one person because the person's ha they're building um, like a, you know, CSI is building a case. They're building levels of what they know about the individual. So theoretically they can know if that individual is by themselves, by what they're doing. Okay, say you're watching uh, Sunday football, and all of a sudden you turn on, you know, the QVC. Love, yeah, the QVC. Our love conquers all on the uh, the woman the channel. It probably means there's two individuals in there's the house. There's two individuals in the house, and if you're um, if you're also now we're gonna we've got two individuals now, probably a man and a woman, and then all of a sudden during this thing you turn on the kids, uh, you turn kids. on the kids show, you know, to see what's going on. That means there's at least three there. They can be. There's, and then they're building a profile of the house. They can be, and if it's, uh, you know, like say the next week is doing the same sort of thing, they know there's at least a, a man, a woman, and a child in that house, and they basically can have um, advertising aimed at you, just like TiVo used to, was trying to do, and TiVo didn't get anywhere with it all because people didn't like that. Well, you know what TiVo used to do is, you, for example, I'll give this as an example. If you used to watch some adult entertainment, it would change the channel on you for something that it thought was coming on that you would like. Uh -huh. Now the challenge is, you're in a business meeting, you watch, you have news in the background, and all of a sudden it changes the program they think you will like. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Guess what happens? That's fine, cause your problem. But what they were talking about, which is what Facebook is basically, I read that they, Facebook is getting into analytics. Analytics means they got to know more about everybody that's doing it. If you look at their, their new things, they're checking on who, it's why um, Yahoo basically, I mean, uh, YouTube has basically got these circle things now because they can basically, once they start figuring out who your friends are, they can figure out, they know what's going on with them and then they can figure out what to send you in commercials alongside your uh, Gmail account or on your YouTube page. Yeah. So, and Yahoo and um, Facebook are doing the same thing. They said the, commer the advertisements alongside your pictures over at, what is it, the left, left hand corner, I guess. Left hand side. Left hand side is, is targeted towards what uh, uh, you basically have been looking at. Well, and if you shop on Amazon, all you have to do is go buy something on Amazon or look for something on Amazon, put it in your car, or you're looking at it. You get off your computer, you come back on, and then all of a sudden, somehow, all the ads that keep showing up on your computer are all things related to what you had just searched for. That's right. Mm -hmm. and, the, the, and we remove our cookies continually. So what it means is they are building a profile on you by that one click mm -hmm. of go look at something. Um, Remember the thing, people that have looked at this have also looked at this. People that have bought this have also bought that. Mm -hmm. You and bought this in the past, we think you'll like this. Our, uh, like on Facebook, it says you have 62 friends that have liked this product. Mm -hmm. mm, not when I didn't have 62 friends, I didn't have. Oh really? Yeah, you have. Yeah, well, actually, when I was getting started, I got a lot. I got more friends than than the BC site had, which is funny. <laughs> but um, but it's, you know, but um, but not more than her own site, which is really big. They really like her. They just don't like the BC or not a spring shape. They don't like either one of them. What? Well, they like the JC. They just don't. They don't like the BC or the NC as much as they like the BC. They're all the same person, folks. Oh, I'd love to see the confusion that they must have at Yahoo yeah, over at uh, Facebook trying to figure out this one. Because there's three different type sets of people that, well, you know, that she's got on Facebook. Mm -hmm. But um, the thing is the privacy problem. That's what most of the people at the Digital Hollywood were talking about is the privacy issue. They're not going to be allowed to get away with what they're doing because they're gathering information but, but, without people's permission and knowledge. But here's one of the things is you do give them some rights. 
you know, it's one of those things, and I'd have to go back and look. It says, by utilizing Facebook, you give Facebook the rights to whatever it is. And that, but okay, subject to change. <laughs> okay. But you do not, the government frowns, and so the ACLU frowns on you tracking people and telling what they're, you know, okay, uh, okay, we know what the ISP in this building is. It's, it's, boy, this is the can can room in Las Vegas. He's doing it off his cell phone. Mm -hmm. You know, and uh, and exactly doesn't want people to know he's in the can can room in Las Vegas, but it's listed then that he's there. They don't want that done because they're using this information because, like she's talking about, what happens is, say you're at a convention and you go to these places a lot of the time during the convention. What happens is when you get back to your base station, wherever it's at, all of a sudden you start seeing things in the oh okay here is the club whoopee in downtown Philadelphia. Or uh, here is the boom boom room in downtown Schenectady. Well, for New example, York. like in Las Vegas, the nightclubs are where the business the business yep. parties are at the nightclubs. Right. Right? Where the things are at the hotels. And so let's say for example you have kids, right? Yep. Or oh, let's say you're married. Yeah. <laughs> you come home and all of a sudden, guess what shows up all over your devices? Yeah. Because it's what happens. It ends up in the corner. They say, "Well, you know, well, the, you know, your kids and your wife or your husband shouldn't be uh, getting into it." Well, you they tell me, do. they kid, they all do it. I mean, it's just uh, okay. Most family members tend to use a password that they can easily remember, mm -hmm. and basically, like a kid's birthday or a married, you know. Even though they tell you not to use that, most of them do. Most of them do. That's why they. That's why they hack so many accounts. I mean, so, but. Um, it's the privacy thing because we're going to be talking about the cloud in a little while, and the cloud has got the same privacy issues. The government, I mean, the left and the right, it's the only thing the left and the right can get agree on is the fact that they don't like that they, uh, there are too many people doing too many invasive things. I mean, like it was a real groaner when they said, "Well, the woman, you know, we're going to be able to, we're going to be able to nail everything that you do, and basically provide that to the, uh, to the." Of sponsors, and so they'll know how to program things directly into your house, directly for your set. Mm -hmm. I don't want things directly for my set because, you know, like if you're local, you're hoping that the local things give you a broad base of stuff that you can see, like, a, like you, you know, okay, they've got a sell on over at Vons. I think I want to go to Vons. I generally go to, you know. Um, Albertsons, but today Vaughn's has got what you know, like I got peanut butter ten for you know ten. Yeah, but maybe you don't like to go there. Yeah. The, you know, the same thing as if you live in LA, what you only want LA news? No, you probably want some more national or international news mm -hmm. too. So they direct you to um, they direct you to the wrong news thing because you have a profile that says well, once every week. Okay, and it's simply good. Here's um, um, Bill O'Reilly. Bill O'Reilly says that once a week he. <laughs> 